Hello gentle viewers, this is of Indian, and welcome back to new content for the channel. This is the first video on the channel since we took our three week break. Hopefully everyone's been enjoying themselves, having a nice early start to their summer. <clears throat> and we get started with uh, NFL Madden 19. If you recall at the end of the last Madden episode, I increased the XP bonuses for tackles, guard centers to 125. I'm kicking it up still more because it's really hard for offensive linemen to meet the weekly goals that everyone else can. And that's kind of frustrating. So hopefully this will help us start to actually improve our ends of offense, offensive line. Oh God, excuse me, I just finished lunch. Um, so the Baker Mayfield isn't turned into a pancake. One additional programming note. I do not believe that we're going to play any more of the games at all. For whatever reason, maybe it's OBS, maybe it's YouTube, the frame rate dies every time we're playing the actual game. Um, so that's why what we're going to do now is we're just going to sim the whole season. We'll make changes as necessary. I won't even do the drills, um, which should hopefully A, make the videos quicker. Um, and B, let us get through more videos before I get burnt out on this series. Um, and I do think Madden's got a limited shelf life on this channel. Because Madden is not designed to do what I'm telling it to do right now, which is just to sim season after season after season. It's designed for people to actually play the game. And I just don't see it. I don't think it would be enjoyable to watch me try to play on a keyboard. And there's the performance issues. I don't think it's worth it. So what I think we'll do is I think we'll play uh, probably another two or three seasons. And then we'll probably either pick up something else for the channel or even just have an empty spot on the channel. And I'll have a good long think about, about that before I make a commitment to it. But I just wanted to explain uh, these videos should be shorter except for this long explanation to this one um, in the future. And uh, you won't be seeing me playing any games. So, that said, it is 2020. Um, oh, where's the... Oh, because I don't have owner mode on. I can't see who's actually selling the most jerseys on my team. That's frustrating. Whatever. Um, we are about to enter the offseason. And we have three players who want new contracts. Matt Braid is a nice little running back, but I've already got five. Devin McCourty. He only wants another year, right? Let's do it. Let's bring him back. Oh god, I don't have any cap room. Oh, my cap room's gone. I'm gonna let you both walk. I literally can't afford it. And I'm not going to franchise anyone either. We're just going to tell everyone to get lost. Damn. And we're just going to go straight to the draft. I'm not even going to get involved in free agency this year. Because we don't have the money for it. I said advance to the draft. There you go. So let's start the draft. The Lions are now on the clock. So I won't get to pick till pick 21. The Browns are now on the clock. So let's check our dad draft board because I legit have not played this game in so long that I don't remember who I was planning to draft. Okay, where's my draft board?
What is going on? Oh, that's what I had to do. I put people in my draft board, didn't I? Maybe I didn't. Um... Let us check middle linebacker really quickly here. Okay, I didn't even scout middle linebackers because I'm an idiot. Um, oh wow, okay. He's a really good running back though, like really, really good. With a crazy 40 yard dash. You know what? Let's take him. The Ravens are now on the clock. Okay, he is an awesome running back. I'm not even convinced we needed a running back, but that is the challenge when you haven't played the game in a while. The Browns are now on the clock. Okay, please only show me people that I have scouted. There's a lot of third and fourth round talents at this point. It doesn't really look like there is anyone with a true second round grade. That is a huge tight end though. Like seriously. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna trade the pick away. Chicago, will anyone give me two picks? Let's see, Atlanta will give me a second and a fifth. Is it a second and a fifth in the same draft? I'm gonna take Dallas's offer. Hold on now, this pick is trading teams. The Browns are now on the clock. Now I can make a third. Now I can make one of these these picks I've got. And we'll be a little bit better off. Show me scouted. A really good linebacker like this with a really good combine score seems like a good pick. The Jaguars are now on the clock. Oh dang, he was a really good pick. I like it. The Browns are now on the clock. What other kind of weapons are there? I did want to take another wide receiver, didn't I? We think he's great. We think he's overrated. I'm not willing to reach that high for him. Let's take uh, Joel here. The Ravens are now on the clock. Ah, he was a reach. That's all right, though. The Browns are now on the clock. Uh, 
I wish I would remember what I picked. That'd be pretty handy. Let's take, uh, ooh. Oh, we've got some some really good offensive line talent still available. Let's take uh, Bennett Taylor trailer here. The Ravens are now on the clock. Eh, it's a pretty minor reach, all things considered. The Browns are now on the clock. Looks like I mostly scouted wide receivers, and uh, that's fine. Do I need a kicker? I sure do. Let's go ahead and take a Duncan Bonner then. The Ravens are now on the clock. Nice. He's actually a pretty good kicker. I like it. The Browns are now on the clock. All right. What we're going to do now is we're going to grab... Uh, we are going to check the players I've scouted still. But I'm primarily focusing on combine stats at this point. If there's anyone who's at a 7, I'm going to grab him. I could just grab LaMarcus here. But then again, we think his true talent level is, is undrafted. Is there any position I really need help at? Not really. We addressed the halfback issue. Ravens are now on the clock. Get an extra guard. That's always handy. The Browns are now on I'm going to try to trade this pick, but I guarantee nobody's going to want it. Everyone's going to offer me like a seventh rounder next year. Sure. I just really can't be bothered to make another pick. I see both teams filling out cards. You know what that means? We've got a trade. Let's go and end the draft. I just realized that I just that means the computer made a pick for me. Whoopsie. How'd my draft go? Bulla's really good. I think we made some smart picks this draft. Eh, Hilton sucks, but that's alright. Okay. I would like to adjust the roster, please. Quarterback is fine. Uh, I'm not going to change any halfbacks. I have too many left guards. Um, how many right guards do I have? I have two. So the obvious solution here is to move one of the right left guards over to right guard. Let's move Barrio over. Okay.
I'm gonna shift you over to left outside linebacker just so I've got more depth there. That'll help out there. And then corners. I've got a few. advance the week. All right, who is currently I'm okay with those guys actually getting the the big training buffs. Oh god damn it. Sorry guys. I know I promised not to do any drills. I click the wrong button. That's right, we'll very quickly do these and then uh Hey boys. Coming out of yesterday's practice, we all know it wasn't good enough. Here we go now. Green 39! Green 39! Oh, that was bad. That was me screwing up. There is no excuse for that. I literally just need to complete passes to make this work. Okay, we're gonna hit um, 11, like super quick, because they blitzed. Oh yeah, he's wide open. There we go. Yeah, we got another silver. Hey man, that was great. I mean, you had a great day today. You finally get it. You're starting to turn a corner, and that's what we like to see as a coaching staff. Show us some more. Yeah, I'm, I'm for these, I'm just literally not going to do anything. Just because it's a bit, yeah, it's not the easiest thing in the world. Okay, that was not my fault. The safety caught up to that and just knocked it into his hands. Yes, yes, green 39, all the greens, all the 39s. Not my fault. That's the one thing I don't like about the defensive drills. Because they lock you into a particular player, there's not much you can do if the play is not in your direction. Which is, you know, whatever. things I really hope from front of his football is just something that gives an authentic simming experience because Madden really doesn't offer that and that's not Electronic Arts' fault of the many things that are Electronic Arts' fault this is not one of them I'll set Electronic Farts um because um their market is arcade players or people who play against each other, or people who play the games. Uh, 
The game is not designed to do what I want it to do. Nah, that was stupid, but whatever. I don't care. Um, which is one of the things I think makes Madden kind of a poor fit for the channel. I do think it's better than Farlow's football, at least in enough ways that I can explain certain things and help people understand how stuff works. But as far as... Like, accurate stats. Front house football still has this, this pretty well beat. God damn it. We just gave up a first down on second and 26. Um, and Mad's never particularly been good at simming mass seasons. Um... Because it can't prorate stats. Which means you either have to simulate 60 minutes of football. Or you suffer the fact that you're going to be short on every stat except for um, offense. Hey look, we fucked up again. Because we can't cover. I mean, to be fair, David Njoku is a tough guy to cover. I'm just going to go ahead and just out of the drill. I mean, it's like, we're, uh, we'll just do it. Fuck it. But yeah, I just... It's one of the reasons why I'm very hesitant to keep playing this on the channel. I just don't think I can give you guys what you expect. Which is what you get from OTP, which you got from Front House Football, which is statistical analysis, player development. Um, those are things that Madden just gamifies a little bit too much. I actually preferred it the old way, where all the improvement happened behind the scenes. And players would just get better as they perform better. And you didn't have, you know, this incredibly gamey... Um, Oh, look, I choose to get faster. Um, I just personally find that not terribly exciting. A glorious preseason victory. More simming. I want to kick back here, actually. Fans to next week. Yeah, I'm not gonna... Yeah, this is fine. Um, but I just thought that felt more natural. It felt more natural to see players just get better. Not to control the development to quite that level. But that's just me. Um, maybe your opinion is different and you're free to have a different opinion. We gotta cut nine people, fine. Let's move you to the practice squad. Practice squad. Practice squad. Every one that we can move to the practice squad is going to the practice squad. Whoa, if I cut Darbo, my freaking cap space would just shoot through the roof. So would Earl Watford, you know what? Let's cut him. Yeah, I don't need him. You're slow and you don't hit very hard. That's not a uh, practice walk. There you go. How does our practice squad look? Do we have more people to add? We do. So let's take a look.
I'll put you on the practice squad. And I would like a nice backup safety to get some experience on the practice squad. Uh, most importantly, we have not actually set our team captains yet. All right, Miles Garrett is definitely a captain. Baker's a captain, good. I need one more. I'd like someone out in the secondary. Oh, we already have Christian Kirksey, okay. How many captains do we have? Jesus. Okay, I guess we have infinite captains. Let's make uh, Denzel Ward a captain, too. Okay, that's it for the captain. So I just needed to add one more, I guess. Which is fine. Um, I could actually upgrade my coach. Let's quickly check into that. Um, player progression. Nothing that exciting there. Let's make it easier to sign offensive linemen. And maybe defensive backs? And then let's quickly check the depth chart and make sure we've got it the way we want it. All right. We only have one backup quarterback. Um, that is vaguely problematic. I'd really like to have three quarterbacks, but for now, I'll live with it. Um, this is fine. Or is it? Speed's the same. Much better strength. I think we will leave this chart as it is for the moment. But I think Duke Johnson is reaching the end of his time with the Browns, especially if Bullock does well this year. Um, guys, we need a lot more speed at wide receiver. Like, so much more speed. I think that's what we'll start scouting once we can start scouting, is we need to get a lot more speed on offense. Um, Interesting. I'm actually going to let uh, Harriman here start at left guard. Just because I like his strength. His strength is really high. Um, and he's a really good run blocker, too. Maybe not quite as good as a pass blocker, but I think he'll be a nice player to use. Um, center's fine for right now, as is uh, right guard's fine, right tackle's fine. There's room for improvement across the board, but I'm hoping we get that just through players playing better this year. Uh, Ogba, that's all fine. Uh, back to you are the last one. I don't care if you are a purpose-built defensive tackle. Uh, there's Kirksey... Schobert and Kirby. This is all fine. I'm going to let Wharton star over Gaines just because I want to get that extra speed. Don't 
I'll make a Bonner Bonner. Okay. So we have the depth chart set. Nothing left to do, but let's start simming some games. Actually, I take that back. Of course, we need to set up our um, our training. Come on, football. There we go. Oh, we're actually still... Wait, what? Oh, we haven't played the preseason game yet. Okay. That's all right, though. We've made the playoffs every year so far, right? Nine wins. We beat the Bengals, and let's see what went well and what didn't go so well. Okay. They outgained us. We had really good punt returns. Uh-oh. I don't love that. I don't love having to rely on punt returns to have a good game. Baker Mayfield had a fairly good game. Uh, Duke Johnson had a really good game, and Joku did too. Blocking was good enough. Sack for Garrett. Did we get a punt return for a touchdown? We sure did. Damn, Jarvis Landry getting it done. Okay. Let's play the Bears. Just, ooh, wow, that was tough. Okay. We want a run-stopping linebacker, but you know what? I want him to be the best player he can be. Oh, it's going to improve his hit power. No, do it, please. Notice, by the way, the offense lineman's already improved. Let's make him even more agile. That's some good stuff. Okay. Um, scouting points. Um... We gotta go hardcore on the wide receivers this year. Okay. We've got a big problem though. You see the face of the person who wants to negotiate? It's Baker Mayfield. It's actually not as big a cap hit as I was afraid of. Do it. Right, he wants to make a little bit more money, but that's all right. Uh, I will give Denzel Ward a new contract too. Uh, if he wants a bit more money. That's all right. We can talk to him again next week. We must have gotten a weekly award. What was it, Jarvis Landry? Oh, Joe Schober. Nice work, Joe. I will be right back.
I'm back, guys. Thank you for waiting. Um, okay. Baker Mayfield. Negotiate. He wanted more money, I think. I'd rather give him a higher salary than a higher bonus. Let's kick it up to 18.5 per... He wants a boost to the bonus. Alright. The thing is, I cannot afford not to sign him. Uh, he's got us over a barrel, and I think he realizes that. Let's bump it up to six, and let's go three and a half million on his signing bonus. Uh, 3.25 is reasonable. So we got Denzel Ward back, which I'm excited about. Uh, Duke Johnson. I'm going to put you on the trade block. Because I actually don't want him back. Which I know sounds weird, but I don't. I think we're a little bit held back by him. Just a little bit. Um... Let's keep scouting them wide receivers. All right, and let's put some people on the draft board. There's only really two outstanding wide receivers in this draft. And I don't want the possession guy. We'll put Seidler and Cone on our draft board. Let's advance and play the Ravens. Okay, right now we've opened the season 4-0. Um, which is obviously an amazing start. So let's take a very quick look as a quarter of the way through... The story is really the defense this year. I mean, this is about as perfect a game as we're going to get. I mean, Baker is efficient as hell. Great completion rate. Dude's not moving the ball super great, which is one of the reasons why we're going to trade him. Other people are getting the football. Two sacks for Miles Garrett. Our kicker didn't have to make any field goals, so that's good. Yeah, I mean, this is just a really solid team. And granted, we haven't faced... I mean, we barely beat the Jets. But I bet this game, like so many others, like hugely overrate Sam Donald. Or Donald. Right? Donald. Darnold. God, what's wrong with me? Uh, two touchdowns. This is what keeps worrying me. Baker Mayfield has the ability to throw 50 yard, 50 yard passes. He's not getting the opportunity. I think the team is held back right now by the fact our receivers aren't terribly fast. Alright. Okay, this is definitely helping us upgrade with our upgrading our offensive line, so that's good. Um, let's keep cranking up your man to man. Elisha Wharton. Oh, we want him to be a man corner, do we? That's alright. Austin Corbett. Let's make him more agile. I mean, we can upgrade his ability to be a deep threat. That's all we can get right now. You know what? We're going to keep pushing past Protector. Because I know he's not the perfect fit for this scheme, but we really want him to be a great pass protector. 
Because I know we've talked about the theory a couple times now, but it bears repeating. The purpose of the offense of the center is to occupy one or more defensive tackles. Um, Hunley, you're already so far up in power. I'm just gonna keep working that. There we go. All right, Baker, buddy. You've already got my nuts and advice. I'd really be happy if you would not, if you would just not right now. I'm paying you $140 million, so hopefully this is sufficient for, actually. Can we get him for six? Or seven? Let's lock this fucker up as long as we can, definitely. Done. We've got our franchise quarterback for seven years. He's going to be 33. I don't have to worry about his ass anymore. Um, let's try to trade him, actually. All right, so what we need is we need to find someone who really rates him highly and then get a pick out of it. Because I don't think anyone's desperate for a halfback right now. I'm looking for anyone who's who wants him has a high level of interest. Just probably gonna end up being nobody. Which means then it just comes down to who do I think I can get the best deal out of medium wise. All right, let's back up. Who is the worst team in the NFL this year? Is there anyone who hasn't won a game yet? The Raiders, hi Raiders. Would you like your very own Duke Johnson? I think you would. Maybe I'm training with the Raiders because I want to get the best possible pick. Alright, you know what? Let's go for the moon. Would you give me a first round pick? I'm quite sure the answer to this question is fuck no, but let's see. Yeah, that's not remotely what they want. Which is fair. I mean, I genuinely did not expect to get it. We're probably honestly looking at a third rounder. We've got two second rounders. Can I get your second second rounder? They are really close to accepting that. Can I sweeten the pot with a third round pick? Good. All right. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna promote. Um, I've got a practice squad running back. What's his name? Johnson. Before we do that, actually, let's make sure there's not like a really great free agent running back I could grab. Here we go, done. There we go. Problem solved. I know we took a bit of a hit, but I really do think that my rookie can handle the full load. So get her done, Bullock. Um, all right, people wanting to negotiate. The punter and the kicker. You know what, from the corner, let's just give you what you want. You guys are both good enough that I'm not gonna... I don't know that I necessarily want you guys, like, super long-term. But I think new one-year deals for both of you is extremely reasonable. Scout. 
What other positions do we really want to upgrade in a big way at? We've got a lot of talent on both sides of the ball. I know the offensive... You know, I would like another center. Even if we don't end up spending a really high pick on him, I do want a little more depth there. Who got hurt? Chris Smith. Okay. That's not the end of the world. Oh, wow. I actually had someone give me an offer. Damn, look at that. I could have had a much better... Oh, well. I can't do it now. I got to decline them all because I already traded the dude. That's all right. Um, we did lose to the Chiefs. Um, we got our asses handed to us by the Chiefs in point of fact. But, the thing is, we were able to keep pace with them for the most part. What ended up being the difference? Honestly, Baker was just as good as Mahomes. It's really hard to sit here and say that he wasn't. Um, I would like to sort by Browns only. His completion percentage was great. He's still not throwing bombs, but again, I think that's as much us as it is him. Uh, running game wasn't great. I think we need to let Bullock, Bullock, whatever his fucking name is, develop a bit. Big day for Jarvis Landry and Joku. We did allow a couple of sacks. That doesn't help. Here's our problem. No sacks. No interceptions. It's not that the defense did badly, but look who our leading tacklers. It's a cornerback. That's bad. That tells us why we lost this game. We lost because we didn't get consistent pressure on the quarterback, which means he had time to throw. And... Uh, my corners were way too involved. So, okay. So we still need to get better at the pass rush. I, but there's not a lot we can do short term to fix that. At least not that I can think of. Oh yeah. Yeah, right now we need a truly great wide receiver. Um, I know it seems like we're not thinking very hard about most of these deals, and it's true that we're not. Here's why, though. We can't really afford to be cheap when it comes to the offensive line until we've got a really good crop of young offensive linemen that are ready to take over. I think the other position we need to scout the hell out of this year is left tackle. All the first and second rounders. Oh, sorry. I didn't finish scouting. Okay. One more. Because we need a development project um, at left tackle. Franklin Hurst is clearly the best tackle in this draft, and I'm also just as clear that we're probably not going to get him. And we will look at right tackles to just see if there's someone we can shift over. Um, let's advance the week. Ah, damn it, Denver. Now oh, who's hurt? Please don't be Baker. It's Denzel Ward. That's not great, but it's we can live with it. All right. So we've now lost two really close games. What happened against... Denver. What happened? 
Baker didn't throw a touchdown. Damn, it looks like he had a really hard time passing. Bullard did okay. Yeah, we're still not getting huge amounts of pressure on the other guys. So I think we need to try to shift our focus and try to grab some really good pass rushers in this draft. Two. Um, who we got? Kirksey and Callaway. We can't overpay for mediocrity. I will take I will definitely re-sign Callaway. Um Kirksey is probably trade bait. Who's the other linebacker whose contract is buying? Oh, Jannard Avery. I'm not gonna mess with him. I'll put him on the trade block, but I'm going to be very hesitant to trade him. Alright. Let's get that right outside linebacker position solved. This is a very top-heavy draft. Alright, put all three of these guys on the draft. Oh, um, and then we'll also check left outside linebacker. This is a really shitty year for linebackers. Like, holy shit. The thing is, all these things that we could try to improve, there's just not much available to make an improvement. Now, a DJ Clark actually would be a nice pickup. I would add a lot of speed to our team. I want a defensive tackle. Would they take my backup DT? Probably not, but we can check. Okay. They don't like him. All right. I could send you a second rounder. Would you take a fourth rounder, actually? How close are we to making this happen on a fourth rounder? It's going to take a second. Um... He's a really good receiver, though, and he definitely fills a hole. I'll give up Bodo. I'll give up my uh, my second second rounder. Would you take this deal? No, you wouldn't. What if I gave you? A third and a fourth next year. Nah, they really don't want to trade with me. I 
Actually, here's an interesting idea. Would you take Christian Kirksey? Oh, they are, they are so close. I could probably sweeten this deal with a low round pick and they'd probably take it. How about a bonus seventh round pick? Does that get you over the hump? Yep, we did it. Okay. Uh, we now need to probably cut a receiver. Cut him because I want to get another linebacker added. Go ahead and promote him to the practice to the main squad. Yeah, I will definitely put Camelot on the practice squad. Dorset wants a new deal, which I'm totally happy to give him. I'm not even going to negotiate. Alright. Uh, Chubb, I'm just going to immediately say no to. I'm not bringing him back. Yeah, I will negotiate a new contract with Dorset, for sure. Yeah, linebacker is our biggest area of need. Any good lobes this year? Nope, what about molbs? Damn it, chats. You guys suck. All right, then fine. Let's get a new practice squad player. Let's add Franklin Hill to the practice squad. We could also use a major upgrade at the second DT. Um, it is known. We need to beat the Chargers, and we didn't. And now we're in real bad shape. Now who's hurt? Are you shitting me? <sighs> That's probably us done this year. It. I'll sweeten the plot the pot slightly. Good. Shit. Do I have a good halfback on the practice squad? 
I have a terrible halfback on the practice squad. Welcome to the Browns, Bo. I think we need more depth at running back, too. We need so many things right now. Um, it's hard to say there's not any position that we're definitely really set at besides Baker and Miles. Alright, get ourselves some DT scouted. Can we beat the Colts? We cannot. Yeah, we have really fallen apart. Our defense is just falling completely and utterly apart. We're getting shredded by everybody. Um... Oh, sweet. We'll play the backup. I don't want to lose Ward. Um... How else can we improve this defense? I'll do some corner scouting, maybe. It's really the front seven that needs the boost, though, and I don't know how we're going to accomplish that particular goal. And we lost to the Steelers. Yeah, we're in free fall, and I don't really know that there's a fix. You know what we're going to do? We're going to change the defensive schemes. See if that helps at all. It probably won't. But it's worth a shot. You know, we're still much better at... Um, we're still much better at 46 than we are at anything else. But yeah, we're getting creamed. You know, we're going to switch to a base 3-4. We need to get more pressure, and I think that's going to help a lot. He's got a really good 3-4 playbook. Mike Tomlin, eh. Todd Bowles is actually really good. We'll take that. Um, I don't know if the scheme change is going to make a huge difference, but I think it's going to make a decent size difference. Um, Corbett wants a pretty big raise. TJ Carey doesn't. I'm not going to re-sign anyone who's under at least a 75. I'm going to wait and maybe re-sign him at the end of the year. I'll move people around if we have to, but we need to get better at rushing the passer.
Like, the thing is, we can't afford to lose to teams in the AFC North. We can. And we're on a, a free fall where we've lost five straight. And I'm sure part of it is probably we're not running the ball very effectively. Also, Baker's apparently throwing a lot of picks, which suggests to me he's not getting enough time to throw. Yeah, we're not doing a great job offensively either. We need to be getting three to four sacks a game. And we need to be knocking down the quarterback and things like that. Maybe the scheme changes will make a difference, but they probably won't. Oh, who's coming back? Chris Smith. Nice. Denzel Ward's back. And you know what? I think that's going to be huge. I think having him back is really going to change the complexion of our team. Because we've got our shutdown corner again, which should hopefully mean the teams don't rip us apart in the passing game. We gotta beat Baltimore. That's step one on recovery. And we did. Uh, we did in a big way. This was arguably one of our biggest wins of the We've just destroyed the Ravens too. The Ravens are our bitch, which is fine with me. Uh, no picks for Baker. Which is good. Decent rushing game. Not great, but decent. Why is Dorset not getting targeted? Alright, we gotta change a depth chart. The whole reason I got Dorset was to be a deep threat, and he's literally not even catching one pass. Alright, let's look at the depth chart. Wide receivers. Yeah, I'm going to bump you over, um, Callaway. This is just silly. Miles Garrett's like, I'm great at everything. Love me. I do love you, Miles. Quite a lot, in fact. Yeah, we'll have to work on being a pass retarder for a bit, but. Let's make sure we're also scouting DTs. I want to know everything there is to know about the DTs in this class. So that I can add at least one. I really want another quarterback, too. Um, I think we let Callaway walk. Corbett... I don't know. I'm going to think about it. Can we take the Vikings? Nope. We can't. Out all the line that I can. Oh, this is not a good season. I think we're I think we're probably done already. Oh, we beat Cincinnati. You know what? We're keeping up with the AFC North, and that's what matters. Uh, sure.
to make DJ Short more of a deep threat. Sure. Where else can we upgrade to make a meaningful difference in this team? I mean, just defense in general, we need a lot more depth. I need quality backups for every position. Let's look for some diamonds in the rough at linebacker. Who's hurt? Nick Chubb. Eh. We lost to Green Bay. That's pretty bad. I think we're already out of the playoffs. I don't think there's anything I can do to fix that. Let's look at some late round quarterbacks. Um, what other position do I want to boost? Again, pretty much all of them. There's not really a single position I'm really comfortable with. Hold. Get some more depth at corner. I can live with that. I just don't know you guys. Um, even if we beat Pittsburgh, I think we still miss the playoffs. Because the best record we could get right now is 9-7, and seven, which is what I promised. The 9-7 and seven probably makes the playoffs for us. The Raiders are really bad this year. You know what? Beat Pittsburgh. We did not. And that's the end of the year for us, I think. I don't think 8-8 eight and eight gets us into the playoffs. I genuinely don't. I don't think that's possible. I mean, I do think 8 and 8 is very possible. We tied the fucking Raiders. If that doesn't tell you how bad this season is, I don't know what will. Damn. And none of these problems have easy fixes. I'll go ahead and finish scouting him. Oh, we are going to need to get younger at safety, too. Even if we beat Detroit, which we did, I'm still pretty sure we're not making the playoffs. Yeah, no playoffs for the Browns. Miles Garrett got best defensive lineman, so you know what? That's something. Yeah, this is just kind of a lost season for us. The good news is players have got better. Um, which should make next year better. But we're still so far behind on offensive line. Oh, damn. Look at that. Oh, 
probably ended up getting a bit better. How many pro bowlers I'll get this year? Maybe none. Baker didn't make it. None of my receivers. Oh, Jarvis Landry made it. Njoku made it. Batonio made it. Miles Garrett obviously made it. Let's be real here. Yeah, that's fine. It's the Falcons versus the Texans. Oh, joy. Yeah, we really ran the ball like shit this year. I think we need to keep getting new running backs. We want a really good two to three running back mix. And as we enter the offseason, the Falcons are Super Bowl champions, and we've got a lot of work to do to get this team back to even where it was last year. Um, we're a very young team. We need to find something to unlock Baker's potential. To just start having him throwing, like, 50-yard bombs all over the place. Which I think is the offensive line. So we're going to have a good hard think about that before we start the next season. Um, but for now, though, I hope you guys are enjoying the series thus far. Uh, share some feedback down below if you like the whole no-playing game part of this. If you'd rather see the games being played, damn the frame rate problem, let me know what you think. And like I said, I don't envision us going too much farther with Madden. I just think it doesn't fit the channel uh, a huge amount. So we'll see what happens. Um, but until then, though, I'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, and as always, this has been Abindian, and I bid you good day.